Okay, so this video for food and health is about the epidemiological transition, the diseases continuum, diseases of poverty to diseases of affluence, and the implications of a global aging population for the disease burden. Okay, so first of all, the epidemiological transition model. So this is a model that shows how a country's burden of disease changes over time as it becomes more developed. So it's a movement from communicable disease, so least developed countries here, so this basically, it shows, oh wait, that's the wrong line, here, I mean, so you have, this is the line of, com uh, this is communicable diseases, so least developed countries have high mortality rates when they're at the early stages of the epi epidemiological transition, and that decreases as the as um, time increases they become more developed so developing countries are here and what you notice is also for the line showing non-communicable diseases ncds they are low um in the first stages and then they start to rise as the country develops more and then here you have this double burden of disease so double burden of disease is basically when you have both diseases of poverty communicable diseases more often and diseases of affluence which are these lifestyle related chronic diseases and then as the country develops more and moves further on in the epidemiological transition the communicable diseases fall and non-communicable diseases rise due to kind of affluence and sedentary lifestyles um, okay, so diseases of poverty versus diseases of, of affluence. So diseases of poverty tend to be waterborne diseases, pest diseases, poor hygiene, poor public health, poor diet, and there's some examples here. Whereas diseases of affluence are because of lifestyle and overconsumption or the environment um, that one is in or also just longevity of life, so like old age basically. Okay. So here we have some more, oh yeah, okay, yeah. so this is more um, like causes of diseases of affluence. So we have social causes, westernization, like lifestyle factors, stress, diet, ex westernization meaning like maybe movements towards processed foods, fast foods, that type of thing. Diet, exercise, crowded living, sanitation, sex workers working in the informal sector. Environmental, on the other hand, could be rural areas, um, like people moving from rural to urban, so kind of overpopulating maybe, so um, that might create stress and increased pollution. Um, climate change, water source contamination, seasonal changes, and natural disaster. And then we have, okay, something is weird. Okay, no, it's not, never mind. Okay, so implications of a global aging population is more strain on healthcare systems because if you have a more aging population, you're likely to have more of these degenerative diseases. Um, so you have to, you know, invest in that instead of other health, other age groups. So you kind of have to invest more and the government would invest more into healthcare rather than like education and infrastructure and things like that and this again more more degenerative disease that might also place a strain upon like research facilities and just resources in general in a nation um 